The Church of Or San Michele here in Florence, Italy, was originally built as the grain market of the city. In fact, when it was constructed in the 1330s, it looked significantly different than it does today. These large archways that you see were once open to the street, and the ground level of the building functioned as a loggia, where people could come to buy and sell their grain. But everything changed in 1348, when a catastrophe called the Black Death struck all of Europe and reduced Florence's population by about two-thirds. And the people of Florence made a vow to a miraculous painting inside of the grain market that if she helped the city survive, they would actually transform the grain market into a church and dedicate it to her. And even though we lost two thirds of the population, that surviving third saw through its end of the bargain and in fact began the gradual transformation of grain market into church by first walling up the archways and then eventually building a baldachin around that painting which was seen to have saved the city itself. But the interesting thing is that they maintained the commercial role of this church by making it the official guild church of the city. In fact, Florence's economy was dominated by these financial groups trades unions or labor unions known as guilds. And those guilds are actually represented here on the outside of Or San Michele in the form of statues. Every one of the 14 niches represents one of the patron saints of the guilds in the city. Uh, guilds such as the money changers here with their patron saint, Saint Matthew. The uh, linen drapers guild with the statue of Saint Mark by Donatello. The sword and armor guild of Florence with the statue of St. George. So in many ways, this particular area of Florence was the financial district of the city. Because of course, these guilds not only represented themselves in the form of statues, but their palaces, their halls were located here as well. In fact, just across the street, we have the Palazzo del Arte della Lana, that are known as the Hall of the Wool Guild, which was Florence's wealthiest and most powerful. And so the building was literally surrounded by the architectural structures that represented the economy of the city. So if the Duomo of Florence was the religious center of the city, and if the Palazzo Vecchio was the political nerve center, we are now in the financial district of the medieval city.